Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, now with the big Suzuki, I made it clear when I bought it that it's not a project bike. I'm not gonna rip it all apart and restore everything, but I am gonna fix a few jobs that needed doing. I got it for a great price from a dealer friend of mine, and I took on those jobs to do for myself in exchange for a good price. It's nice when it works that way. Now, one of the jobs on the list is the rear brake disc. On the MOT, which it passed, it came with a 12 month MOT. It did have an advisory that the rear disc is worn close to the limit and it probably won't make it next year. So I'm gonna change the rear brake disc today. Along with the brake pads, you have to do them as a pair. And while I'm at it, I think I'll also change the rear brake hose because it's 18 years old, it's the original rubber one, and why not? So let's do it.
Right, here's a little nugget I would like to share. I have said it before, but it's well worth saying it again. If you take the back wheel out of your motorcycle or the front, when you do so, lay all of the spacers, nuts and washers in order. And then when the wheel is out of the way, return straight back to it, put the wheel to one side and reassemble it all back in order. So that's all the wheel spacers, the little dust caps, the washer on the outside and the nut. Just dry assemble it all back onto the bike. That way, twofold, you won't lose any of it and you'll know what order it goes in when you come to reassemble it. Hope that helps. Right, now these pads, they've got loads of meat left on them. They've probably got about 200 miles on them at the most, but unfortunately they are worn in to the grooves and score lines of that old disc. So unfortunately, as good as they are, as expensive as they might have been, copper sintered red pads, they are fit for the bin. There's nothing I can do with them because if I put those grooved and scored pads on my brand new disc, all it will do is damage it. I'm not having that. So I'll put them over there. They'll go in the bin with a disc and I'll put some brand new copper sintered pads on my brand new disc. That's always the way you should do it. Anyway, next thing, let's wash out the caliper, give it a good clean, put it back together with the new pads, put the new hose on, plumb it all up, and I think we're done.
Right, there we are. Top quality parts as always. EBC disc, copper sintered pads and a braided steel brake hose. Nice little upgrade to match the disc and the pads as well. And now the system's bled up. Absolutely rock solid, really happy with that. Now, all that needs after that is completely clean the disc off with loads of brake cleaner to get my sticky fingerprints off it and any manufacturing residues, then take it out and run it in for about 50 miles or so until it nicely beds in and starts working properly. There's always that little bit of running in time on new brakes. Now, the eagle eye amongst you might have spotted that I haven't done the back end up properly. I haven't done up the axle or talked up these caliper bolts or done the wheel alignment or anything. And that's because it's all got to come back out again in the next video. If you take a look at the chain adjusters, you'll see here there's absolutely no adjustment left whatsoever on that chain and sprockets. It's completely knackered. So in the next one, we'll change it. I'll see you then.